Welcome to another episode of Rexmarts. Today we're going to be talking about the the profile of, of the CV. Right. So outside of your name, the first thing really, the very yeah, first thing that people see on your CV is the profile section. Yeah. Right? This is like the this is the summary of who you are and what you're trying to achieve. Mm-hmm. Now a lot of people, for me, they end up putting um, just very really buzzwordy type. I'm a entrepreneurial. Um, hard working, hard working yeah. team player. Work, work well in the love. team, but yeah, also yeah, independently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the problem, the problem is, this is the single hardest part of writing your CV, right? Because <laughs> nobody, re- generally, by and large, most people don't like talking about themselves. No, and that's the place you're starting on your CV. So the best advice I ever got was actually do this last. Yeah, it should feature at the top, absolutely, but, but do, do it, it last. last. Well, and in terms of what to put on there, I mean, the reality is that. If you're trying to describe yourself, it's always going to, you're always going to be trying to think what other people are trying to, to, mm-hmm. to, to think about of you. However, if you're describing what you've achieved so far and what you plan to achieve in the next five, six years, that is where you really start kind of unlocking what that profile is. I think that's, like. what's going to, that's what gets rid of the I'm a hardworking, diligent, <coughs> you know, entrepreneurial team player. Because what you're then doing is going, here's what I've done so far in my life yep. and here's what I want to do next. And How long should it be the tone? Oof, it depends, isn't it? I mean, it's not going to be half the page, but I think a good, a, a strong paragraph of maybe four lines that summarizes who you are, what you have done, and where you're looking to be. I yeah, think that's key. A lot of people miss that bit out. Where am I looking to go? Yeah, that that's the important bit for me. I always advise any candidate that I work with, um, five year plan. What are you looking to achieve in the next five years? If in five years you're sitting there saying, I want to be qualified, or mm-hmm. I want to be a manager, or I want to be working abroad i mean look the truth matters people want to hide some of that stuff sometimes because they're like oh but what if i don't get the job because of it truth is if you don't get the job because of that you shouldn't be working there anyway yeah because, is that really somewhere you want to be yeah. yeah so i think by and large most of the the buzzword stuff you need to get rid of and just focus on what you've done and and where you want to be in the next five years yeah yeah, that's solid. yeah? right so in the next segment we're going to be talking about um, education and qualifications so tune in for the next segment of uh, Rexmarks.